Hi everybody, my name is Marcos and I work for the City of San Francisco at the Department of the Environment. I'm here today with my friend Phoebe the Phoenix. We're here to talk to you about how composting and recycling can help protect nature. Remember, everything that we use comes from something that was originally found in nature. So if we love nature, we need to reduce, reuse, recycle, and compost. First, let's start with composting in the school cafeteria using the green cart. Phoebe, do you think you can help us out? Great, let's get started then. The first thing to remember is that all food scraps can go into the green cart. Think of it as worm food. If a worm can eat it, it can go in the green cart. Worms eat things like banana peels, leftover sandwiches, even cookies. Worms can also eat our leftover lunches like this. Go ahead and dump out your lunch. But wait, let me ask you a question, Phoebe. Can a worm eat this plastic tray? No, worms cannot eat plastic. So it cannot go into the green cart. Hey, check this out, Phoebe. This is some pretzels in a plastic bag. We know that worms cannot eat a plastic bag, but they can eat the pretzels inside. So dump out your leftover pretzels into the green cart and put the plastic bag in the trash can. You know, another thing that worms can eat is dirty paper, like our empty milk cartons and our dirty paper trays. Those can be composted in the green cart too. But remember to take out your plastic straw and put that in the trash. Worms can eat all kinds of dirty paper, like greasy pizza boxes, wax paper, paper coffee cups, and paper plates even dirty napkins. Let's talk about recycling for a moment. Phoebe, can a worm eat an aluminum can? No, worms cannot eat an aluminum can. But we can recycle all metal cans in the blue recycling cart. We can recycle aluminum foil too. And here in San Francisco, we can recycle all types of plastic bottles in the blue cart. Plastic water bottles, milk jugs, and juice bottles go in the blue recycling cart. We can also recycle plastic containers like these. Finally, we can recycle all glass bottles and jars too. Hey Phoebe! When you're done reading the comics, you can put it into the blue cart to recycle it. We can recycle all clean paper here in San Francisco. Newspaper, school paper, and even clean cardboard can go into the blue cart to be recycled. When we recycle paper, it helps protect trees and forests where most of the world's animals live. And I know how much you love animals, Phoebe. What about this stuff? This stuff is trash, and it has to go into the black trash can. Great, now let's review. All food scraps and dirty paper, like milk cartons and napkins, go into the green cart. All bottles, glass jars, and plastic containers go into the blue cart. Metal cans and foil, clean paper and cardboard also go into the blue cart. And the rest, it goes into the black cart. Well, Phoebe, I think that's it for now. Hey, do you think that this will help students to remember how to compost and recycle? I agree. Thanks for your help today. You did a great job. And remember, you have the power to protect nature when you compost and recycle. Thanks for your help today, everyone. See you later.